Hi, today I want to talk to you about the Jobs Plus grant that's currently out with a grant due date of August the 21st, 2023. So a lot of people want to know what makes an applicant eligible for the Jobs Plus grant. So today's video is about eligible applicants for the Jobs Plus uh, grant. So depending on the number of uh, traditional public housing units that you have qualifies you for the Jobs Plus grant. So starting last year and also carried over into this year, HUD is making it possible for the smaller public housing authorities to apply for Jobs Plus. Jobs Plus is a great program that allows the housing authority to help their public housing residents to transition from a subsidized uh, lifestyle to um, earning a living wage and possibly even starting to live an unsubsidized lifestyle through education and employment and incentives and, um, and work especially. So eligible applicants are at a minimum, if you have 100 traditional public housing units, you qualify for the Jobs Plus grant. Of the number of units that you um, count to make this 100, 40% must have a unemployed status. That means that there should be no earned income showing in PIC. There can be other types of incomes, but no earned income uh, showing in PIC. So if the housing authority has a minimum of that 100, and that minimum also could be achieved by combining developments. So if you have one development in this location that has uh, 70 units, that wouldn't qualify you. But if you have another development, probably across town, that has another 50 developments, and combined that would exceed 100 public housing uh, units, then that qualifies you because you can combine your development to achieve the minimum 100 uh, traditional public housing units. So you must have a minimum of 100 traditional public housing units that is not under a signed CHAP agreement and you have not converted um, the units to RAD, they still have to be traditional public housing units. So if you have at least the, uh, 100 and 40% uh, uh, shows no earned income in PIC, meaning they um, are unemployed, then uh, you qualify. So if you have between 100 to 199 uh, traditional public housing units, then you qualify for $1.6 million. If you have between 200 to 399 uh, public housing units, then that qualifies you for $2.3 million. If you have 400 traditional public housing units, to 599 uh, traditional public housing units, then you qualify to request $3 million to operate the Jobs Plus. And if you have a minimum of 600 uh, traditional public housing units, and you can show that 40% of those units have no earned income showing in PIC, you have a 40% unemployment rate, uh, if you have a minimum of 600 of those units, then you can request the maximum in Jobs Plus of $3.7 million. So based on the number of traditional public housing units that you have and the qualifying unemployment rate of 40% determines uh, what tier of funding you can request. So go after the Jobs Plus program this year if you're an eligible applicant.